Dewey Cooper, Dewey. Uh, first of all, I ask you, man, you always busy putting work. How you been? What you been up to these days? Uh, things are good. Welcome to our gym here in Henderson. Big Scary Gym. We're at 671 Cape Horn. Yeah. Henderson, Nevada. Uh, 89011. Tell me more about the gym first off. How did uh, this come about and how what's it like training here? Yeah, uh, well, we've been here for what about eight months now. Um, um, there's a, a powerlifting component here, uh, ran by, by Rex. Him and I partnered up on the gym. I brought the striking, he has the powerlifting, and we're happy to be here. Uh, a bunch of fighters come through here. Right there, you see UFC fighter Kevin Lee getting ready to fight Daniel Rodriguez uh, on the 28th of this month. We also down over there the PFL playoff Final Four contestant Bubba Jenkins. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's fighting uh, August 27th in Miami, Florida. So, yeah, we got some great things going on. Uh, Timmy Kwama just won his fight on UFC Fight Pass. Yeah. Devastating fashion. Uh, things are good, man. We're blessed to be here. Carlos Tuckham also trains here, heavyweight yeah. boxer. Uh, well, yeah, we got some good things going. Jamie Miracle Mitchell trains here. She got fight She's coming fighting up. for the world title uh, October 9th in uh, uh, England. So, yeah, good things going. Oh, man, blessed. People know that you had a real deep fighting history, multiple sports, traveling, championships. Um, transitioning to a trainer, um, what is like your foundation as a trainer? Like, how, what would you say? You know, the basis of what you're trying to do, how you do it. Well, my, my foundation, if you were comprising it into three things, it would be the uh, master one kick bomb, master one, master one kick Blumgren. Jazzy Jeff Mayweather slash Tony Valente Mesh. Uh, these were the guys who I learned from. I trained with Master Nick uh, Blomgren for over, what, 28 years. I trained with Jeff Mayweather for 22 years. I trained with Tony Valente for 28 years. These guys are my base. Um, so it's more of a striking style, boxing heavy, and, and a Muay Thai mix, I would say. It's, it's a Muay Thai Mayweather style. Fighting across different sports, have you really gotten to appreciate the nuances of each sport? Like, so they always try to say MMA versus boxing, but sometimes you can appreciate both of them, you know? Absolutely. And man, it's all martial arts. The fight's a fight. There are certain rules to certain fights. That's the only difference, but a fight's a fight. You gotta be in shape. You gotta be ready. You have to express your techniques at that moment. So, I don't separate boxing from MMA, because in MMA there is boxing. You just can wrestle and grapple. Uh, it's no difference. You just gotta train both sports, understand the nuances, and, uh, and uh, implement them in each style of fighting you do. Bare knuckle box is the same way. Um, I won a bare knuckle boxing championship with Christine Vieira, mm. and with the with, with no hand wraps and no gloves, it's slightly different too. But at the end of the day, a jab's a jab, a punch is a punch, a kick is a kick, a submission is a submission. Good stuff. Now, this is a fight week in Vegas for Manny Pacquiao. Um, you prepared for him. You had Jesse Vargas in a battle. Good, tough effort there. What was it like preparing for Manny, and what do you think of his fight with Ugas? Man, Pacquiao is the man. First of all, the world wants to see that Earl Spence matchup. And when that got postponed, for him to take a tough opponent like Ugas is almost crazy. Yeah. Because uh, Ugas and Spence are totally different type of fighters. Um, wow, I'm, I'm impressed that Pacquiao's willing to take a fight as dangerous. It would be different if Ugas was just getting off the couch, but he was fighting on that event. So he's in dog shape training anyway. So it's a very dangerous fight for many Pacquiao. Pacquiao, I feel. Ugas has nothing to lose in that fight and everything to gain. But that just shows Manny Pacquiao is a real one, man. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the smartest thing, but he's definitely a real one. Number of respect for him and preparing for him is difficult. He's a basketball yes. player with fast feet, fast hands, and good ass punching power. I was going to ask you, preparing for him, like, you know, you were with Jesse. Um, what did you try to, like, Look at Manny, how do you start to say, okay, this is what I can do against him, I gotta, you know, focus on this, etc. Like, how do you get ready for that? The best way to be successful against Manny, Manny Pacquiao is making him go backwards. Um, hit, by the way, hitting that body too. Yeah. He's been hurt to the body several times. Good point. Making him go backwards. Everyone thought Pacquiao won the Jeff Horn fight, but Jeff Horn showed. He brought it to Manny's chest, he made Manny get uncomfortable, and he, he made Manny get a bit tired in that fight. Uh, I figured Earl Spence was gonna put that jab on Manny, step to him and hit him with those body shots and push Manny backwards, trap him on the ropes. I think this is the best way for success. 
fast. If you try to box with Manny too much, his speed are fast, he's awkward, and he hits harder than what people think with them off angle, weird uh, style punches. So it's hard just to box with him. You have to be a master boxer like Floyd. Anybody else, he's got to outbox them. Uh, making him go backwards, I feel, putting that pressure on him is the best option. And on a side note, you know, it's fight week again. Uh, for a while, COVID took this away. Like, how did you have to readjust everything? And what's it like for you seeing things pick back up? And are you hopeful that things will be better? <laughs> well, if anybody watched me, man, COVID and nothing stopped me. We could train at the gyms, we're at the park. I'm a lunatic, and I believe in hard work and dedication makes fight night the celebration. So we work the whole time. We're at the park training, running. We train six days a week like we do now. We never stop, man. I don't believe in stopping. The day we die is the day we should stop. So pandemic or not, we're going to figure out a way to get that work in. And last thing, I give a shout out to your daughter, uh, Shalyn. Tell me about her, man. She always doing her thing. What's man, it like man, being... Shalyn, it, it's just sad for me now because she's 16. She's going... She started 11th grade at Bishop Gorman High School. She's playing basketball on the varsity team, starting. She has a 4.2 GPA in honors classes. I mean, she's, she's great. She's singing. She's playing the piano. She's doing martial arts. Uh, you know, doing really well in basketball. And it's just sad that she's almost out of school and I'm going to need therapy when she goes to college. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. How can people follow you and the uh, Black Cobra Striking Systems team yes, and all sir. that? Yeah, uh, I'm on Instagram mainly um, and that's DC Black Cobra. Cobra spelled with a K. DC B-L-A-C-K K-O-B-R-A Check me out on my, my gram and uh, I follow a bunch of people back and I appreciate the love. We're going to keep working hard. Man. That's some big things coming up in the near future. Great stuff.